What's up YouTube? Dalvazar here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video, this time with something that I have been really excited about. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions movie pack booster box. Yes, I've actually been really excited about this. I know there's not too much really new stuff in here. Well, I guess most of it is pretty new, but nothing like super game-breaking. Uh, but there's a bunch of cards in here that I've been really excited to finally get. Probably even more so than I was with Shining Victories. And probably less so than I will be with Dark Illusion, but we'll see. Open this. Okay, me. Should have gotten my knife, but I don't know where I put it. Stupid thing. There we go. Okay. So yeah, there's... Um, quite a few reprints in here, just of alternate art of cards, and anyone who knows me will know that Dark Magician is probably my favorite archetype, followed very closely by Phantom Knights, so I'm very excited for any Dark Magician slash Dark Magician Girl slash Magician Girl stuff that's going to be in here, and also, uh, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon is in here. So that's going to finally complete that Blue Eyes deck that I was working on. So I'm super excited about that. I can't wait to just have the alternate art Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl in here. So Ooh. I'm just super excited. And Choco Magician Girl, that's going to be in my Dark Magician deck when that's all completed. So can't wait. So we'll go ahead and just dig right in with Dig of Destiny. And I don't know what this does. Uh, when you take battle damage, draw one card, and if this, or if this card is in its owner's control, is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can draw cards equal to the number of Dig of Destinies in your graveyard. That's actually rather interested. interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, not too handy against like OTK decks, but yeah. Cubic Mandala. That's a lot of text that I don't want to read. Magical Contract Door. Ooh. Add one spell card from your hand to your opponent's hand. Then add one level 7 or 8 dark monster from your deck to your hand. That's not that great. Silver Gadget. Oh yeah, there's new gadgets in here, so that's going to be cool. And Dark Garn. Dark Garnix, the Cubic Beast. Awesome. And every card in this set is ultra rare. Should point that out. So if you guys are looking to build up some hollows for your collection, this is not a bad pack to, to do it with. Got some cool cards in here. And it's also five cards set. And ooh, there it is. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Probably the big money card right now in this set. I'm sure that it won't be the big money card for long. I think I have a, my eyes on some things that might pass it. But for now, it's really the money card. So it's a great card for the Blue Eyes decks. It's one of the key cards for the Blue Eyes decks. Um, Gera Gil. Gera Gil, the Cubic King. Deep Eyes White Dragon, there's another Blue Eyes support there. Crystal Avatar, and Induced Explosion. I don't know a lot of these cards' effects. I don't feel like reading them. I was kind of... I don't know. It's kind of weird right there. Got dot. But yeah. So I don't feel like reading too much of them, but we'll go ahead and set Alternate Eyes. Or Alternate White Dragon. Not Alternate Eyes. Too many Eyes monsters. Oh yes, this is what I really wanted, was Dark Magician Alternative Art, Alternate Art, whatever. Black Magician, as he's known in Japanese, Black Magician. Super cool artwork there. Indiora, Doom Vault, the Cubic Emperor. Cubics seem pretty cool. Oh yeah, and the Alternate Art Dark Magician Girl in the same pack. That's awesome. She looks so cute. I love her. Lemon Magician Girl and Dimension Sphinx. Lemon Magician Girl was the first Magician Girl to be announced, besides Dark Magician Girl of Kirkus. Of course, we're gonna set you two out as well because I like you two. The band and these cards. Ha! Awesome, awesome. And I think Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is also in here, which is pretty sweet. I really want a playset of Choco Magician Girls. That's what I really want from here now that I already have one of each of these. And a playset of Alternative White Dragons, I guess. Blade Guard Garuda? Garudia? Blade Garudia, the Cubic Beast. 
gold gadget. Assault Wyvern. There's another blue eyes support, I think. Um, when this card is destroyed, an opponent's monster by battle. You contribute this card, special summon one dragon type monster from your hand or graveyard, except Assault Wyvern. So, yep, that's pretty damn good. Apple Magician Girl. Pendulum Oracle Mahad. Wow, that's what his name is now? Or Palladium. Not Pendulum. I forgot you were in here. Oh, that's awesome. Here's another Dark Magician support. Well, kind of Dark Magician support. Not really. It can be used in a bunch of decks, but basically, it's Mahad, so it's Dark Magician support. He's pretty awesome. So I'm going to set him aside as well. Anything else that I want to? Not really. So yeah. I mean, he's not really a super powerful card. He's like a one run, one of, maybe two of card. At least I like to run him in the deck that I've been testing out for Dark Magician. Cubic Mandala again. Mandala. Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. That's pretty sweet. It's a ritual monster too. What is he? Take to summon. Can be rich. You can ritual summon this card with Chaos Form. Must be ritual summoned and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict double piercing damage to your opponent. Wow. That's quite a bit. Okay. Crimson Nova Trinity, the Dark Cubic Lord. So I'm guessing that's going to be the Cubic Guy's like boss monster in the movie. I still haven't watched it yet because it's not in English subs and I understand a little bit of Japanese, but not enough to not get a headache if I try and watch it. Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord. Do you use that to make this? Three Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lords. Yep. And Final Geos. Geos. Oh. It's pretty sweet, though. Sorry I'm taking so long going through this pack. I'm just really interested in, like, all of the cards in here. So, I get a little excited. Ooh, here's another Magician Girl card. Magician Defense, or, yeah, Magician's Defense. You can control, the if, when you control a spellcaster monster, while well, you control any damage you receive is half, blah, blah, blah. Um, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one spellcaster monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So, pretty good, honestly. Pretty good. Keep it wave. Induce Explosion. Marsh Macaroon. That's pretty cool. Crystal Avatar. That's a pretty cool looking card, too. I've tried out uh, Magician's Defense in a couple of decks, and it's not terrible. I don't know if I would use it, really. I mean, a lot of these cards would work work a lot better in control decks than what the meta is right now, which is just breaking load the board with an unbreakable board and an OTK, because we like to play Solitaire, apparently, now. Kiwi Magician Girl. Celtic Guard of Noble Arms. Wow, I did not know that you were in here. That's awesome. I love Celtic Guardian, so... I love seeing this guy here. What does he do? Cannot attack while well. cannot attack while well. you have any cards in your hand. Once per turn, you can special summon one Celtic Guard monster from your hand. When this attacking card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can draw cards equal to the number of Celtic Guard monsters you can control. But so not too good, but still pretty good. And Chocolate Magician Girl, awesome. So glad that you're here. You haven't actually been that censored, have you? I thought she would probably be censored at least her bus size because that's what we do, actually. Oh, another Mahad! Yes! And then Deep Eyes White Dragon. Go ahead and set you there um, real quick. Oops! Oh. Yeah. I, I just want to see this. Just feel free to skip ahead like 15 seconds if you don't want to see the difference here. Um, that's my playtest Dark Magician deck right there. Uh, let's see. Anything different? It does not look like it. Yeah, everything looks pretty much the same. Well, actually, nope. Right there. They did censor that. Okay. Where you can see her kind of under boob. Sorry, it's a little blurry, but yeah. Just wanted to check on that. Apologize for that interruption. Oh, I just put that back in the deck box. I get a lot of Japanese cards, too. I just never open anything with them. So, yeah, I'm going to set her aside as well because I want to play set of her. So, I want to keep it there. This is kind of like all the other real Yugi packs that have come out where you get pretty much everything that you want in a box. 
we were just hoping for like play sets or anything. Chaos form. Why aren't you focusing? There we go. Vajam, the cubic seed. Dark Garnix, the cubic beast. Oh man, Dark Magic Veil is in here. <gasps> yes. I did not know you were in here, Dark Magic Veil. I'm so happy. Unification of the cubic lords. If you guys don't know what Dark Magic Veil does, it's basically a better Dark Magic Curtain, at least in my opinion. Uh, you pay a thousand light points and then you special summon a Dark Spellcaster monster from your hand or graveyard. So it's not like Dark Magic Curtain, you pay half your life points and you can summon Dark Magician from your deck. Which is pretty limiting, because it has to be in your deck if you go through all of them. And there's just one in your hand, you can't use it, it pays half your life points, and you can't uh, normal summon or special summon the same turn. That you do it. Lord Gaia the Fierce Knight, oh that's pretty cool. I love all these cards, I'm so excited. Metal Hold the Moving Blockade. Looks like... Just a new version of Stronghold and Moving Fortress. Clear Karibo. And another Apple Magician Girl. Oh, so much, so many Dark Magician things that I really want. I cannot wait until Dark Illusion and then um, Legendary Dex 2 comes out, because then my Dark Magician deck that I've been playtesting for the past months, several months, um, will finally be brought to fruition. Metal Morph. Metal Morph. Fortress. Metal Morph Fortress. That's a mouthful. Lemon Magician Girl. Still pretty good. Neo, Blue Eyes, Ultimate Dragon. The OTK Beast. This guy's super good, actually. But he's kind of hard to summon and kind of slow for a lot of people. But I still really like him. Man, we've already gotten almost 12 minutes in this video. I'm sorry I'm taking so long, guys. I'm just really excited. Super excited. Gold Gadget. I think that's. Oh, no, no, no. I don't remember. Countergate. Dark Magician Girl again. Oh, she's so cute. Assault Wyvern and Crimson Nova, Dark Cubic Lord. I'll probably keep a playset of each of these alternate arts. Look at her. She's so cute. She's less menacing than this one. This one's... Actually, this one's pretty. She's cute, but in a different way. Do -do -do. Century Soldier. Up stone. Indiora Doom Bolt. Uh, Cubic Rebirth. Silver Gadget. Buster Gundil. The Cubic Behemoth. Cubics look really interesting. I might try and play around with them. A little bit. It's left side now. So, what we're looking for is two more alternative white dragons, two more Choco Magician Girls, Chocolate Magician. Chocolate Magician Girls, excuse me. And uh, two more Dark Magic Bales. That's the big thing that I want right now. Some more Dark Magicians and Dark Magician Girls would be great, too. Marsh Macaroon. Gendora X, the Dragon of Demolition. Oh, I forgot you were in here, too. That's gonna be pretty cool. I don't know what you do. I'm going to actually read you. Let's see if we can focus here. When this card is normal or special summoned from the hand, you can destroy as many other monsters on the field as possible, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the highest original attack on the field among, the, among those monsters, your choice of time. Uh, this card's attack becomes equal to the damage inflicted to your opponent by this effect once per turn during your end phase, half your life points. That's actually pretty good. If you can, you can do double damage of whatever the highest monster on the field is, so if it's, it's like a Dark Destroyer, you can do 6,000 damage. Well, actually no, because Dark Destroyer floats because Dark Destroyer sucks! Sorry. I have a grudge against Cosmo. If you play Cosmo, I ain't. I won't say anything. I like the Cosmo cards as an archetype because it's Star Wars and I love Star Wars. Kaiser, Morse Raider, that's pretty cool. Dimension Guardian, Neo Blue Eyes, Ultimate Dragon, Metal Morph Fortress, Fortress, Dimension Sphinx. Yeah, I like I like Cosmo as an archetype. I just don't like their mechanics and how. They're just really easy to play. Not degrading you if you play with Cosmo. Just, you have a very easy deck. Um, Berry Magician Girl. Oh, she's so cute. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Sweet. And Chocolate Magician Girl. And Slifer the Sky Dragon. I forgot you were in here. That's awesome. And it's a playable version, too. And alternate art. That's, that's a pretty sweet art. I have to say. Have we ever gotten alternate arts of Slifer 
the god cards yet, other than this? I don't think so. But yeah, I'm really excited about these two. So now just one of each of those, and then two more Dark Magic Veils, and we'll have everything that I want from this box. We still uh, haven't pulled it. at least one card that I know of. Maybe a couple. I don't know too much about what's actually in this set, other than just what I was really looking forward to. Like Dark Magician stuff. Chaos Form, Unification of the Cube Lords, Final Geass, Apple Magician Girl. We have a playset of her now. It's pretty cool. Magician Girls all work pretty well with each other, but it's kind of hard to just make a good deck with them. Which is, which is a shame. So I tried. Hey, there we go. Our third Chocolate Magician Girl, finally. Awesome, so that'll be it. Dark Magician, nice. Gotta love Dark Magician. So I'll move you right there. I almost want to pull you out, Dark Magician, but we have you already here. So let's go ahead and put those there. Yes, there we go. Yeah, sorry. This hey, sorry about that. Um, so my camera just suddenly stopped recording, and it didn't give me a notification or anything that it stopped recording. It just stopped recording, and I didn't notice. So I kind of completed the packs. I'm not sure where exactly it stopped recording. I think it was sometime around when I got this second Dark Magician. So it was towards the end. I only had a few packs left, but. I went ahead and I pulled out the second Dark Magician, pulled out Dark Magician Girl, and then I pulled a Blue Eyes White Dragon, the last pack, which was pretty cool. No second alter or no third alternative White Dragon. I think I got the second one on screen. If I didn't, my apologies. I got two of those now. Um, I have three Choco Mag Chocolate Magician Girls. I keep wanting to call her Choco Magician Girl because of Japan. My dog is chewing on the street right now. I'll just grab these cards here and you can kind of look over what I got towards the end there. Some very magician girl, a slide for the sky dragon. Never got obelisk, unfortunately, but we got two slide for the sky dragons. So I'm still not sure exactly where to cut off, so I'll just cycle through. Got some more Mahads. Counter gate. Keep it karma, blah blah blah. And I think this is probably good Gandor X, Dragon of Demolition. So yeah. These are all the cards that I got there. I think that's pretty much probably where it cut off. I don't think it went too far. Or I don't think I missed too many packs. But yeah. So I'm probably going to get another one of these boxes, to be honest. Um, so I'll have another chance to get some more Dark Magic Veils. rest of the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragons. Maybe Obelisk. Maybe some more Dark Magicians or Dark Magician Girls. Who knows? But yeah, I'm really sorry that it cut out there. But, you know, it happens. So, yeah, go ahead and just end off with these two lovelies right here. The cards that started it all. Dark Magician and Blue Eyes White Dragon. So cool. I was always a Dark Magician guy. Ever since... Hey, my first card was Beaver Warrior, I think, from my first Legend of the Blue Eyes pack. So I was bound to be a Yugi guy. But, yeah. Anyways, there's all cards that we got here and yeah so if you guys like these videos go ahead and like subscribe comment do whatever it is you do and i will see you all next time thank you for watching Buh bye bye